Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint. But blessed is he who keeps the law. This is the fourth week of Reigning Over Creation, Offering Week. So, where there is no word from the Lord, the people let their hair down, cast off all restraint, do whatever they want, get crazy. Uh, so, that's what happens when there's no word from the Lord. But, um, blessed is he who keeps the law. So, this is in... Um, in Hebrew terminology, this is actually a kind of poetry, a parallelism, antithetical parallelism. In other words, the first half of the verse is opposite from the second half of the verse. So really, all that you have here is the direct opposite from the first half. Where there is no word from the Lord, the people cast off restraint, get crazy. So the opposite of that is blessed is he who keeps the law. Blessed or happy is he who keeps God's word. Uh, so... What we've often done is taken this Proverbs, taken this Proverb 2918, and we've turned it into a leadership or a reigning scripture. And we've said successful Christian leadership is about having a vision, having a grand vision. Now, we Christianize it a little bit and say having a grand vision from God. It's a vision from the Lord for our organization. What I'm saying is that Good organizational leadership is not bad. That's a, that's a really good thing. Um, being a good speaker, being able to organize hundreds or thousands of people, uh, writing books, being dynamic on the radio, those are all good. But it's not really the scriptural um, vision of leadership. It's not really the scriptural idea of reigning. Um, and this verse is a good example of that, that we've tried to turn this into a, a good leadership passage of Scripture. But what we've been doing this month is looking scri up Scriptures that tell us the true scriptural model of leadership, or the better term, of reigning. And we come to Scriptures that don't talk about good visions uh, for the people. We come to Scriptures this month that don't talk about good organizational skills uh, we look at scriptures that don't talk about large congregations. But instead, what do you guys think is the common theme of the scriptures that we've studied this month? When you think about it, all these things that you're talking about are oozing out of the scriptures that we talked about. Our servanthood, humility, submission, asking. And so when we think about Christian leadership, uh, we talked about in the beginning of the message all the things that we think about when we think about successful Christian leadership, and none of them <laughs> are in God's word. Really, are they, when you think about it? Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God, and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. If you would like more information on .W Evangelical Church, check out dotheword.org. Hear the word. Do the word. .W. 